I think, you know, as we start to get into the conversation that we want to have today, um, for me, this particular slide says so much. And, yeah. and I know we mustn't um, harp on the fact that um, you're the candidate from Africa and that what makes you eligible for the position. But I think we need to be cognizant of the time where we are in history as well as the fact that Africa really does play a huge role in, in the IMO and needs to be given the opportunity to leverage its, its uh, membership. The member state's revenue is actually not the, the bulk of where the IMO gets its revenue from, but um, nevertheless, Liberia is in the top 10 of those um, uh, revenue supporters and in fact is number two. So, you know, mm. I'd like to lay this heavily at um, at the, the root of our discussion today within the five pillars that you've um, identified in your campaign. And I think they all speak to a lot to what's going on in the industry today and very specifically what is going on within the, the management of IMO. So with that in mind, let's, uh, let's get into the conversation. Um, the position of the Secretary General, I mean, they, he or she will, is the, the head of the Secretariat. How do you mm. view that role? And, and what do you think, how important that role is to both the organization and the, the industry as a whole? Okay, first of all, let me say that uh, uh, the, the position of Secretary General is to head the Secretariat. The Secretariat works for the member states. And therefore, the, it is his role then to promote uh, dialogue, to promote and, and to lead the organization to, to, you know, into conversations that achieve the... The, the mandate of the organization. How I anticipate the role of I, SG from me is to, an opportunity to bring new perspectives into the maritime industry. To start from the standpoint that uh, a global organization like the IMO needs fresh impetus, new thinking, new perspectives uh, out of the business as usual. So to ensure that the organization, it, remains relevant as it was uh, 75 years ago when it was created and that it's still uh, working towards that mandate. So I'm looking to bring in uh, a new uh, unbiased, neutral pair of hands, uh, firm, steady, uh, in order to guide the organization and lead it to navigate the changing and uh, uncertain global maritime terrain that uh, Malik touched on. And this is the reason that I'm really uh, vying for this post. So I see the role of uh, the Secretary General as strengthening global cooperation, very, very important, creating new partnerships, uh, fostering stronger collaboration uh, between the member state, st states, the industry, and all stakeholders, because all of us have a stake in this, and we, we need to be working towards uh, the same goal goals. And uh, I look at this as an opportunity to, to bring new impetus and new thinking, to strengthen partnerships, collaborations with other international organizations, uh, because within that I see a family of international organizations that we can work with and leverage uh, to, to work faster smarter and do more with less, tap into expertise and resources that will help us uh, move closer to our goals. Because if we work together within the family of United Nations in tandem with their programs, we will be able to achieve more. So how much more can we do if we, if we work together in collaboration deeper and, and you know, taking part actively in the developments of programs within the EU, United Nations. So I'm looking at coming up with uh, initiatives, establishing new initiatives and partnerships uh, to address uh, shared uh, challenges, as well as promote greater coordination and coherence uh, in global governance of the maritime industry. 